deciphering how life is connected on Earth by observing our planet from space. With the help of state-of-the-art technology and the International Space Station, researchers hope to track animals and better understand their behavior. Martin Vikelski, director of the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology and professor at the University of Constance, is the chief strategist for the Icarus project. Icarus is a global collaboration of research scientists that are interested in life on the globe. And once we put together all the information on mobile animals, then we have a completely different, a new understanding of life on Earth. In pilot projects, Martin Vikelski's team outfitted animals around the world with small GPS transmitters. The sensors make it possible to visualize animal behavior and instincts. And more importantly, those behaviors become measurable continuously. It's already possible for researchers to predict volcanic eruptions of Mount Etna up to six hours in advance by observing the movement patterns of goats on the volcano's slopes. Ducks acting as biosensors. Their vital functions reveal insights into possible diseases and epidemics. Whilst flying foxes in Africa show researchers exactly how they manage to distribute millions of plant seeds across vast areas. Right now we have a test system working with uh, cell phone systems, uh, GSM systems, to send us some information of some select animals, large animals, that roam the planet. And we already see that we can get a very clear picture of, for example, what's happening in southern Sudan, in Mali, in Ethiopia, in places where you don't necessarily want to go, but the animals go there. They tell us what's happening, and that's really valid information. Starting in late 2015, a newly developed reception system located on the International Space Station, 400 kilometers above the Earth, will begin automatically gathering information from animals around the planet. The space agencies of Europe, Russia and Germany are already participating. A bilateral agreement between the Russian and German agencies ensures long-term cooperation. All information will be fed into a control center located in Oberpfaffenhofen and then entered into a global data bank. The biggest challenge initially was to convince people that it is possible from a very small device to send, to collect information on the animal and then send that information to a satellite reliably from many animals at the same time around the world. The program's technological partner is Spacetech, located on Lake Constance. Walter Naumann and a team of engineers are developing all components of the new antenna system from the ground up and getting the system ready for its space mission with countless tests. Once it's in position, they only have one chance for it to work. The transmitters have to be reduced to the smallest possible size. The tags built for large animals include GPS and movement sensors, all solar powered. But in the future, the new system will be keeping an eye on even the smallest creatures, such as songbirds and insects. For me personally, the most fascinating uh, aspect of Icarus is the transparency of the scientific goals. Normally in spaceflight it's very difficult to explain people why are we uh, performing some specific work. Here, for everybody, it's absolutely uh, clear and obvious you need such type of science. The massive project will only work if as many researchers as possible are willing to work together and share their information. Wikelski's team has already laid the foundation to support this kind of collaboration. The MoveBank data bank gathers animal data and makes it available to researchers around the world. Well, we, we know that only if researchers work together as a global community can we really make big breakthroughs. This was the same in radio astronomy when we looked at the origin of the universe in genome to analyze the human genome. And now we want to analyze life as a whole on planet Earth and therefore we need everybody to contribute to that. With the help of new technology, animals will be able to communicate with us, revealing changes, dangers and connections that will help us to have a better understanding of the fabric of life on Earth. <laughs>